Dr. Faust, what is humic acid and why bioag full humics set the high quality standard for today's agriculture world? Yeah, well, full humix comes from my 50 years of experience with, with humic substances. We used to call them humates, humic acid. You now we call them humic substances. And uh, the reason I got started in it is because I observed benefits in actual experimentation on crops. And I saw some things that uh, kept me going uh, for all these years. One was uh, insect resistance because I was an entomologist pest control advisor as well as an agronomist and I saw some benefits there and, and it, it interested me and it benefited a lot of my clients so I saw things that were good things and uh, I kept going but there was problems with the humate products you know they were dusty dirty maybe wet too wet to spread or or dry and dusty and blew into the next county and you get variations in results, um, and tremendous variation between sources. So it's very inconsistent. And then also the test methods were varied as they still are. But you really didn't know what you had exactly by any kind of reliable test method. And information was limited on, on how, how to use it, what concentration, you know, what constituted uh, an effective product. We basically didn't know how it worked. Uh, so then uh, things have advanced tremendously since then. And so now we have an idea of why it works, how to differentiate between uh, biologically active uh, deposits and, and uh, with, with new modern science, we understand that it, 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 there's a, a component of molecular genetics involved, which is something we didn't even know about at all. Uh, when I started, uh, activation of pathways and specific genetic pathways are activated by specific components. So since I started in 73, now we've learned that so-called humic acid has 800 different compounds in it. And it's not one thing. There's no one thing called, or one chemical or molecule called humic acid. Human acid is a, is a fraction. It's, a, it's defined as humus or the fraction, alkaline soluble fraction. But it's really hundreds of compounds that are formed in the soil from the decomposition of organic matter, plant remains. It's what was in the cells. The, I call it cell salts uh, of, of plants and then uh, acted on by, by microorganisms like fungi that make all kinds of chemical compounds. So by doing actual plant testing in greenhouses, we've determined like which deposits are the most effective and uh, what concentrations uh, are necessary. And this kind of information didn't exist. So we've solved a lot of the main problems. And that is, <clears throat> um, what do you have? How do you identify a superior product? And then how do you process it to make it more effective? We have a process where it's a one-step solubilization process. So instead of having a dry, and dusty, insoluble product, we, we activate the product, and it's effective at a 10 to 1 ratio. In other words, if it was raw as mine humate, uh, it's going to take 10 pounds to equal one pound of an activated, solubilized product. And uh, so there's a handling uh, and, and application benefits there. And the old humates were dusty, inconsistent. You couldn't mix it with other fertilizers. Uh, you couldn't spread it very evenly. It had a lot of dust in it, fines. So with our process, we managed to solubilize and activate it and then granulate it. And so it's easy to mix with dry fertilizers. It spreads nicely. It's not that dusty, if dusty at all. And it's, uh, we know the, the, how to test it now. We have new test methods which are, which are approved by uh, the, the organization that regulates fertilizers called AFCO. And then our product is also OMRI listed, which means it's an organic input. We use an organic agriculture. And it's uh, relatively economical to use. And it's blendable, that's very important. It's, it should be used pre-plant or top dress 
no problem. Um, it's kind of taken from a farmer standpoint because I've been involved in agribusiness and farming for all these years and working with a lot of people in three or four states. And so I saw the problems uh, of Humate, but I also saw the benefits. So I, I worked on how to solve all the problems and, and just have the benefits. So uh, it's a natural product. It, there's variability in it. There's tremendous variability between uh, sources, which we didn't really understand until fairly recently. And that took a new level of technology and doing plant bioassays to determine that. Now we pretty much have it pinned down. We know uh, what functional groups need to be present uh, to make it an effective humate. Uh, that there's organic chemistry terms involved, aromaticity, carboxylics. It's, it's, it turns out it's the most complex chemistry on earth. So it's not simple. Uh, some of the top scientists that used to call it humic acid now want to call it uh, phenyl carboxylic acid because it's really <laughs> organic acids with an S, a lot of them, and not, not any one molecule. So it's just like soup. <clears throat> You can have a thin gruel or broth, or you can have a rich minestrone. Well, the main thing is there is some incredible benefits, we know that, of, of humic substances. And uh, you should give it a try yourself, find out uh, what those benefits are. It's real, there's science behind it. And we know the reasons why it works, we know the reasons it doesn't work. We know that there's been a cycle in the humic substances world where people see the benefits, researchers see the benefits. They may try another deposit or another location of a material, assuming it's humic acids or humic acids, then they don't see results or less results. So the story came out, well, the results of humic acids are inconsistent. No, they're not inconsistent. They vary from deposit to deposit and how it's just how it's processed. But in a, in a given product, if you know the actual content based on our new test methods, uh, you would know what you're getting. So now we don't have all the, that kind of, of risk and it's a sure thing.